Hello, Medi. Hello, people. Hello. Thank you. I managed to make a fourth place. I, I couldn't imagine that. The size of game, unfortunately, for first prize was uh, against Tick. Bogdan Dick, when I, I managed to lost it completely winning the game. Not happy, but I'm glad. I mean, to be happy, you have to win tournament. But still glad. Uh, I was expecting much worse result than what was in the end. So, uh, do you hear me well or not? Hola, Andre. How are you? Europe Czech, the French organization organized. It was six o'clock my time. Five hours ago. Okay. Let's make some puzzles. Hello guys. No. No, no, today I'm not uh, solving just just make a little warm up before Fisher Games. Hello, Dilman. No, I didn't restore yet, but uh, soon uh, Liches will do it. They wrote me. What is this? Yeah. Was a strange position. It's just winning, but to find mate, yeah. No right. Why not? Take the bishop. <laughs> Take all pieces from, from the white.
it looks like puzzle rush on chesscom but it's on which <laughs> no i never played with nono What is this? Both moves are winning here. King g4 or king f4? What the hell is this? What am I supposed to play here? I mean, this wins and this wins, and then king g3. Sick. What I don't understand here. What the hell? Two moves are winning. What? Uh, I don't know why King G4, King G4. What, what is the difference? Can anybody explain me this, please? <laughs> what? I don't know. I, I give up. Two moves are uh, good, so I will play King G4. I don't know. Yeah, for some reason King G4 wasn't so good. Yeah. <laughs> what the? What, what the? What what is doing? What is this? It's just incredible. One move for some reason would be mistake. <coughs> Instead of this, this I know what I will do. This is crazy. <coughs> oh, sorry. Allah. Allah Kasparov. It gives bonus for uh, moves here. But you need to play all rights, like computer. The best moves. Ah, oh, sick. You need to make bonus here. Yes, more bonus is better. Obviously. And then it's getting harder and harder. It's longer. What is this? Ah, just mouse slips, right? Mouse slips. Do you see the time? I hope you see. I didn't check if you see.
Very important not to make mistake because you lose the strike. Uh, the streak. Streak, what is this? Oh no, 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 queen d5, simply queen d5. Oh no 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 what what ah queen h5 simply ah sick how much I made yeah it's sick this is very nasty and became, became tilted very easy here also important how we move mouse Easy and long uh, solutions are best because they give they give combo in the end. Oh my! What's this? Um, ah, just take a look, idiot! How many time I lost from easy move? Huh? Oh no, no, first take idiot, first take. Oof, I made second move of variation, stupid me. What is this? Light, light has to go somewhere. Oh no, what I'm doing? Take this rook, idiot. Take the rook first. Such a stupid. What is this? What is this?
and queen f6 and queen. Such solutions are good. Wrong solution. Oh no, 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 no. Rook e8, idiot. Rook e8 and take it. That's just stupid. Oh fuck, what is this? Ah. Uh, uh. Twinkle toes, hello. Okay, last try, and then we, we switch to Fisher. Of course, you have to do it on fresh mud, not like me. Reaction is slow now when you're tired. I'm so I'm moving so slow this mouse, huh? Ah, oh, come on, so slow. Ah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, I have to put it. What the hell is this? Ah, check. Look at me. Oh, what is this? D5 or what? Yeah, these, these are made very bad. Uh, I'm about to lost. So stupid. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you mean filters uh, are di disabled? What? Okay, last try, really last. Really last. Oh my, what is this? Oof, so much time wasted on these promotions. Why did not remove? I mean, what is this?
Ah, e check, sick. Ah, fuck, look C4, fuck. It's, it's totally... Been confused with this. Ah, here is also check, sick, I don't see checks, what is this? What I'm doing? How I made these two mistakes? Out of nothing, thank you for follow guys. Seven rupees. Bobby Fisher would be not proud about my solving, I'm sure. Definitely would not be proud. Definitely would not be proud. Definitely would not be proud. Fuck, what is this? Oh my. What am I supposed to play here? Oh, sick. Oh, my, my, my mind stacked. So, I don't see anything. Ah, rook f2, of course. Rook f2, what is this? Mouse slipped or what? What is this? I, I saw it and the mouse slipped. Incredible. So sick. So sick. Oh, sick. What is this? Oh, no, this rook, idiot. What are you doing? Oof. So annoyed. Ah, sick. Okay, really last try. This will be a really last try. These mouse slips make me so skilled. And the funny thing is that from side you see better than, than when you do it. Because you are not in pressure. No stress. What a tricky bitchy move it plays, huh? Or what the bloody hell he gave me bishop? Can anybody explain me? He could just retreat. Oh no, just take this bishop as you wanted, idiot. Why are you creating problems from out of nothing? 
stupid. What is this? What's in Equals. Oh fuck, fuck, what I did. Take it. Oof. I pushed him to give me mate in one. Incredible. Just incredible. Oh fuck. Oh castle. Take this bitch. So sad. This is so fucking tilting, I mean, this is incredible. It's just ridiculous. No, bishop c4. Stop stupid. First bishop c4, degenerate. What is this? D2 or what? What am I supposed to play? What? What? What do you want? Where is mate? Queen e2 or what? Queen e2, sick. Oh my. This is just incredible. Oh fuck, it's... Okay, enough. Oof. No, this is just... This is, this is terrible. <laughs> Hello guys. Sorry, uh, I was too much busy with masochistic stuff. Now I will switch to... Fisherson. Mr. Fisherson. No, no Simu, Fisher. Fisher today. Bobby Fisher Games. Yeah, thank you, Twinkle. Yeah, so I already made two parts of Bobby Fisher or three parts. And we will continue from his book, my memorable 60 games. And I wanted to start today uh, with a game against Keres in Challengers Tournament Curacao, where, where we remember um, Mikhail Tal was very sick. He got in hospital and forfeited to continue tournament and champion became uh, Petrosian. Petrosian became champion and then in 1963 uh, he beat... Uh, Botvinnik and became world champion. Okay, let's see what's going on here. E2, e E4 was played by Fischer, of course. E5, knight F3, knight goes to C6. It's your time, Mr. Ivanov. Bishop goes to 5 pawn goes to A6, bishop A4, knight F6, uh, old classical Spanish. Castle, bishop e7, rook e1, now is a threat, black has to play b5, d6, protect, d3, castle, h3, most main classic. After d4, in this position, uh, we already seen games, knight a5, another Knight B8, Knight D7, and Bishop B7, Knight A5, Bishop D2, D5. Yeah. Also, this is uh, here is a, a Smyslov variation, H6 and Rook E8, and so on. Конечно, можно было лучше. Paraковski. Нет, похмелья. Paraковski после Ульянги. E4, Knight D7. We know that more. Most natural move is queen c7 here. After this, Keres uh, after game annotated that after knight d7, uh, it's uh, for white it's not easy to find uh, a <laughs> reasonable continuation. This was a novelty, knight d7. And then it became a fashion. 
But uh, uh, Fisher said he is not so much impressed by this novelty and was in that moment when he was 19 years old and even now he said black is wasting time to transfer knight on b6 and also uh king residence will be a little bit weaker without knight okay so d c5 exclamation mark by fisher uh, he says that knight bd2 is more popular here yeah? uh, and then cd cd knight c6 and d knight e5 this position also leads to good game for black that's why he take care using that knight c5 not possible uh, because of a uh, fork D C five. Hello, the Whistler. How are you? The lasso. Knight B D two. And now Queen C seven. Uh, question mark by Fisher here. He says that Bolislavski here was recommended to play F six in this position. Uh, but he thinks that after f6, knight h4 is a pleasant move here. It was played in, in, between uh, Fischer Ivkov in Havana 1965, so three years later. And after knight f5, rook f7, Ivkov played. And queen g4, strong move, Fischer played here. Uh, not, not played, he should play queen g4. And he says that he played bad move, knight e7 here. So he lost three tempos to exchange this bishop. But he should play queen g4, king h8, and then h4 in this position. Because g6, I guess knight h6, like in here. And then idea is h5, knight f3, knight h4 with attack here. It's here recommended. Daddy cool, hello! How are you? Long time. Uh, so. Queen c7 played. Here is knight f1, knight b6. This knight has to control this square now. Knight is three logical continuation. Yeah? Aiming these two squares. So both sides are playing logical. Rook d8, queen e2, bishop e6, connecting rooks, also control this square, this diagonal. And all suddenly, Fisher played knight d5, strong move according to him. Uh, the idea was to open uh, up files, diagonals, and use that uh, this king is not uh, protected well. Knight d5. In case of bishop d5, ed and f6, uh, he says that it was strong move h4 in this moment. And after knight d5, uh, h5 with idea queen e4. We see that this bishop is so strong on this diagonal. And now white using that knight is not protecting pawn. That's why uh, let's take with more more logical continuation e d and bishop d five after rook d five probably bishop e four we just win the exchange so bishop d five knight e five he takes. Rook goes to a7. The, uh, black is defending 7 rank. Um, and Fisher is asking, could black do something else in this position? Because uh, white want to play bishop f4, then rook a d1, and puts a lot of pressure on, on, on the black. For example, bishop d6 was bad. Was queen d3 attacking bishop attacking this square and after bishop e5 there is a check in uh, f8 and then f4 strong move here and then we see the bishop cannot go because of mate or bishop e6 in this position because of knight f7 and we see that king cannot take because of bishop and if you take this this bishop hangs 
what he says also one second also black did not like bishop f8 move here to avoid this kind of threats uh because of queen h5 in this position g6 now because in case of h6 uh then knight g4 in this position with very strong attack queen e5 is a threat or first check and then queen e5 or or take here queen e5 uh, yeah black's position looks very dangerous especially uh with uh, such a knight like on a5 so g6 would be more logical and after g6 queen h4 now we see that the black squares are weak knight g4 is coming uh now bishop e7 would be bad because of queen g3 and then uh, threat is knight g6 attacking queen and also knight e7 and in case of bishop g7 here knight g4 and white has a really really strong attack knight f6 is coming bishop h6 or bishop g5 and yeah this would be quite dangerous also f6 would be a bad move according to fisher because of queen h5 attacking this pawn f e bishop h7 check only move king f8 rook takes e5 bishop is attacked after rook takes e5 bishop f7 looks logical but rook f5 a pin bishop goes to f6 because after bishop d6 will be bishop g6 and more pressure here for example this 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 then check on h8 and f7 hello jigster does hello again that's why bishop f6 but now uh, white is sacrifice more piece bf bishop h6 check king is seven who goes to e1 and now uh in case of king d6 would be bishop f4 check and then we take this queen and in case of bishop e6 what else so there's no other move because king d7 we, we take this bishop so king, uh, bishop e6 and now bishop f5 rook d6 bishop f4 white is winning because we take it and take also here that's why uh Keres probably calculated some of these variations he played rook a7 unfortunately natural move knight c6 or knight c4 doesn't work because we take like this and take this bishop why he protected to bring this knight in the game i'm sure bishop f4 with ideas like knight f7 or knight g6 queen b6 was played now uh rook replaces queen with defending bishop rook a d1 strong move we see that uh white pieces are so nicely developed and they are uh, threatening direct uh, threats here for example knight c4 i guess would be rook d5 rook d5 and then queen e4 i guess this attack this attack black will not survive here g6 in this position black is avoiding these ideas like rook uh, d5 and queen e4 uh, bishop a2 was not better because rook d8 in this position now uh two moves this or this bishop d8 would be knight c4 beautiful move attacking queen and mate is coming so queen e6 would be only move and after queen e6 queen d1 we see that white is using using the development and also weakness of eight rank rook d7 would be only move but knight d2 here and game is over rook queen cannot go because of mate why queen d8 only move and then b4 suddenly here look at this move cb cb now knight cannot go because of knight c6 fork so bishop b4 is forced and queen e4 attacking bishop attacking pawn only move is bishop e1 and after bishop e1 queen h7 king f8 and queen h8 check king e7 then check on g5 forcing f6 and knight g6 check look at this no any break for black we cannot go here because of this only moves and we give it this check in case then we give this check and win this queen and the game that's why uh he played 
d6 probably only move yes g3 does knight g4 using immediately the weaknesses around the king now black is trying to finally uh, connect this knight bring it to the game with knight c4 in case of bishop a2 again will be disaster rook d8 queen d8 yeah because bishop d8 will be made into a check and then made on h6 so queen d8 would be only move and bishop h6 strong move with the threat knight f6 or queen e5 and after you take will be made then for example f6 would be bad because of b3 and close the bishop we cannot take on b3 twice because there will be check take or maybe queen f7 in case of f5 here what would be after that queen e5 attacking on g7 bishop d6 yeah because uh, bishop f8 is bad duel of queen e8 yeah and after queen e8 rook e8 rook f7 will be only move and after rook f7 knight e5 attacking the rook rook f6 then knight d7 and this is lost That's why uh, after queen e5, bishop d6 would be the only option here. And after bishop d6, rook d1 strong move. Meaning the uh, bishop. Now uh, fg is loses because of rook d6. And after rook d7, beautiful check on g7 here. Look at this check. One second, guys. Queen G7 is beautiful check here. And that's why after rook d1, uh, only move would be knight c4. Attacking queen and defend here. But queen e6 check, now use that bishop is off, king h8. And after king h8, what happened after king h8? b3 move, this position. Yeah, salutes. Salutes are here. F G. B C attacking the uh, bishop, and after rook D seven. And then uh, bishop G five, and game will be over, because we cannot go with queen do of check, and after take this, I guess we can check even here, and then take it with check and take it with a. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly, Andre. These kind of terrible things are should uh, get us consider. That's why, of course, uh, I'm sure he did not uh, calculate this much, so he played knight c4. And he played bishop h6 here. He says that uh, a lot of commentators uh, was recommending knight h6 check here. And after king g7, take on d5. And take on f7 here. And he said he also was uh, considering this uh, uh, some time, this variation. Uh, he, he was considering that this is a winning. But then he found queen f6, strong move here. That's why uh, he did not force. Because black is completely tied. Bishop h6, strong move. Uh, creating some uh, mating net around the king. Bishop e6 because knight b2 was losing immediately after rook uh, d5, rook e5, and bishop e4 attacking rook, attacking the knight, and after rook d8, queen b2, f5, this fork, uh, then uh, c4. Otara, привет! <laughs> Thank you. So queen g7 is uh, and this is also. That's why uh, Keres in this position, uh, he played bishop e6, try to close this file and somehow reduce uh, pressure with exchange the rook. Bishop b3, strong move by Fischer, pinning the knight and remaining pressure 
on the black position. Also, some sometimes bishop c4, queen e5 ideas are coming in. Queen b8 by Keres. Uh, he not allows in some variations queen e5 move. Rook takes on d8. Bishop takes on d8 because queen uh, d8 is loses after bishop uh, c4 here. Now bc loses immediately because of queen e5. So bishop c4 is the option. But check first. We cannot take now because of mate in 2 on e8. So king gets checked, then queen e5. And game is over. Yeah, again we cannot take and then it will be so discovery check and game quickly will be finished. That's why um, you take with bishop, control the square. Fisher takes on c4. We cannot take, so bc on the move. We see how Fisher uh, possessing initiative and not reducing the pressure, yeah, with move by move, not allow uh, uh, Keres a breeze here. Queen takes c4, strong move. Uh, tr transferring. Uh, transferring, not transferring, transposing uh, a space advantage to material. So queens, after queen c4, we see that um, black is in serious troubles because white has pawned up, also better structure. Pawn ups are very nice, and black pawns are spoiled here. Now queen b2 would lost immediately after rook e6. That's why he played queen d6, protecting here, protecting here. Keres did what he could in this game, but position was bad. So queen a4. Now we use that bishop descent not possible because of rook e8 and, and is protected with queen. Queen e8 is a threat. Queen e7, that's why it was played. Because rook d7, I assume, would be knight e5. As a knight c6. Maybe something else. But queen e7, a little bit ugly move. A, a sad necessity here. Knight f6 check, using that we cannot take it. So king h8, only move. Knight d5 using this pin. Queen d7 and he not exchange the queens but play queen e4 here. The same uh, same uh, subject, same uh, the weakness of 8 rank. And also this diagonal now. We cannot take anyhow on d5 because of mate. Uh, that's why he played uh, queen d6 again to try to control the square. And knight f4 was played here. C4 also was good. In, maybe in some variations attack the queen and also transfer this bishop here and improve this knight. But he played knight f4. Wants to exchange or kick away this uh, uh, bishop. He can, by the way cannot go anywhere because of queen e8 and mate. Rook e7 by Basky. And now he played bishop g5, but since he could win instantly the game with bishop f8. No, I, he just blundered this move. Bishop f8 instantly was winning. But he played this. Rook e8. Yeah. Permanently, permanently uh, second, his nickname was. Rook d8. Michael the Shadow, hello. Totally banned. <laughs> yeah, Bronstein yeah, missed his chances, chances with Botvinnik with 12 12. Before 23rd game, he was 5 uh, 4. He was winning 5 games, again 4 games. And then he lost this crucial 23rd game, and 24th was ended draw, and then match was drawn, and Botvinnik hold the title. Rook d8 he take because uh, queen d8 was losing very quickly after queen e5 check. Now uh, f6 only more because king g8 it will be knight d5 using this pin and also knight comes here. So after queen e5, f6, queen c5 here. And we see that game will be over very quick here after c4 for example. Own up and also winning position. That's why uh, he take with rook, knight e6, queen e6, yeah. After bishop f8, instead of bishop g5, he would win, probably Skeris would be resigned instantly. Uh, now rook e8 is losing because of queen e5. But he take with queen, exchange everything here, 
Rook D1 check, King H2. Rook D2. And of course, it's very important not to give this important pawn here. So Rook B6. Nobody cares about uh, this pawn. Rook F2. And then Rook B7. A technical move. Very important to cut this king. And the game is totally hopeless here. Rook F6, King G3. And Kerry simply resigned here. It was a wise decision. White has spawned up and he says he, he gives uh, an example variation how game could be over here. For example, King G8, he would play B4, CB, CB, Rook D6, then A4, Rook D3, idea to put it behind. King H2 simply, Rook goes to A3, then A5 here, and Rook A4. In case of if black simply waits, this king goes here, forcing take, and then b5, a b, then a6, a7, and we'll be checking then, and we promote. This is the plan. That's why, for example, if black plays rook a4 here, then king g3 here. And this king will, of course, um, penetrate. So I wanted to show you this. For example, if like, I mean, in this position of rook a2, yeah, for example, rook a2, we can of course attack, but also another win like this. And we go till the b1, attacking the rook, and when, once you take, there will be b5 move here. And these pawns are unstoppable. You take a b, then a6, rook a2, and then a7. Using this king on 8 rank, then check. But Keras, of course, wisely resigned. Oh, cool game. Cool game is coming. Uh, Fischer in Varna Olympiad 1962 against Neidorf. And of, go of course, uh, Neidorf play Neidorf. <laughs> so, see this game. How oh, Neidorf is playing Neidorf. Neidorf is not playing Alyokhin. Plays Neidorf. Oh, I. I dwarf, I assume it's like this. I'm not sure. Can uh, somebody check? Varna. But. I dwarf. Did I, did I, did it correctly or not? I remember it's like this by English. But I'm not sure at all. Yeah, so it's correct, right? It's J. It's J. What's wrong? J, yeah. So I wrote, write it. I Dorf. Everything correct. Let's go. Oh, E4. No, it was not with I, it was with J, just uh, maybe some problems with uh, vision on page. Okay, doesn't matter. C5, Knight F3, D6, D4, CD, Knight D4, Knight F6, Knight 3, A6. Now Fischer played h3. Usually he was playing bishop c4 here. Or also bishop g5. Bishop e2 is uh, Karpov's uh, favorite move. Also Fischer also played this. Fischer plays just everything. 
in Snyderus. But he played h3 this position. Now with this, it's also quite a popular line. b5 as the sharpest continuation, he said. He, he said it's possible g6 or knight c6 here. So b5. And knight d5. Interesting move according to Fisher. Uh, white is want to use a hole on c6. Uh, probably neither of not uh, underest neither of underestimated uh, the power of this move. Uh, and we will see what happens. a4 also was interesting move according to Fisher. Maybe first forcing b4 and then knight d5 again. It should be 7. He says that uh, this move is a reason on of following uh, problems of black here. Yeah. Knight bd7, of course, immediately was losing after knight 6. We catch these two knights. Don't give any squares for queen. Also, knight fd7 was bad with either e6 here. Because of bishop g5. Pinning uh, queen. And after h6, the knight e6 here. Boom. Queen a5, then bishop d2, then mate here. So bishop b7 he played. Ah, he says that knight e4 would lead to a very complicated position. And after queen f3 to play knight c5. Yeah, obviously, uh, knight of did not play it, because maybe he saw that Fisher prepared this. He played bishop b7. But after uh, bishop e7... One second, guys. What happened here? He takes on f6, and we see that uh, he spoils the black's structure here. Gf here. Yeah? Ef even worse. Pawn became so weak. So gf and c4. This was his idea. <laughs> yeah, Michael Shadow. He says that white has to play very energetically here. Uh, because after bishop d3, for example, knight d7, black would have decent play here. Knight c5, e6, rook g8 sometimes. That's why c4, until black is undeveloped. b6 he played here. Hmm. If uh, neither would assist this position correctly, probably he would choose b4, he said. I want chess master, thank you for raid. Thank you, appreciate it. Welcome Raiders, we, we're watching uh, Fisher's games, they are always instructive. B4 probably would, would be uh, a good continuation here. And some uh, Soviet Union magazine in that period I was recommending Bishop E4 here. And after CB, Bishop G7 with the castle, but Queen G4 attacking both Bishops. Bishop G6 and Knight F5 with uh, white advantage but he says that after castle well, the position would be unclear but neither take on c4 here and after bishop e4 he take this pawn so he input this move but uh, the point that uh, bishop is developed that's why it was uh, very dangerous After queen e5, white would have a very strong uh, attack. Bishop d2, queen e5, looks strong, attacking knight and this, but queen b3 strong move. After this, we give check and then take here. So queen e4 and simply play king d1 here. Look at this. Pawn attacked, rook e1 coming, f3 is coming. Yeah, for example, e6, maybe a considerable knight e6, f3, rook e1, I guess. And some sacrifices here and very dangerous position for humans, definitely. That's why uh, Knight of take here, because if he will play something like e6, uh, he would just have bad position without any compensation. So at least pawn for that. Castle, obviously, with idea rook e1. d5. He wants to close this diagonal. Rook goes to e1. A strong move here. Knight of played. Knight of should uh, consider here. One, two, three, four. Four moves, which more or less logical here. He played e5. 
probably after long thought. A variation A would be rook g8 here, but then rook e4. Eliminate this very strong bishop. D E. Then Queen H5 attacking here. And rook g7. In case of rook g6, would be queen h7 attacking this pawn from two directions. Rook g7 and then queen e4. Not only defend but also attacking here. And after rook a7, uh, even bishop e4, knight e5 with a big advantage for white, of course. That's why uh, rook g7 would be the option. And knight f5 here with a strong initiative according to uh, Fischer. Yeah, position looks quite dubious for black. So rook g8 it's a little bit slow. Variation b would be e6. First side looks the most logical continuation. Close this diagonal, also open bishop, but queen h5 would be the move. With the knight e6 here because of pin. And after queen h5, bishop g6 looks strong move because I guess in case of queen d7 maybe it's possible rook e4 and then take with bishop here looks extremely dangerous queen f7 then bishop goes e3 then rook d1 yeah this is very risky that's why bishop g6 looks logical but after bishop g6 queen d5 using this pin the pawns are equal and after bishop d5 rook a7 only move bishop f4 even in end game is attack here. Yeah? We're attacking this knight. Rook d7. What else? Because knight d7, I guess rook c1 coming with rook c8. So rook d7. Try to win this uh, uh, bishop. But knight e6 strong move. We cannot take it because double check and then we take it. And after a3, uh, we simply take bishop e6. So bishop uh, rook is under attack and also knight is under attack. And knight c6 would be the only move. But rook c1 here. And Black, Black is in serious trouble here. Not clear to understand what to play. Knight d, uh, d4, I guess, loses. We take and then rook d1 and take this knight. Another option would be a c variation. h5 in this position. Not allow this queen h5 move. But obviously, this not develop pieces, so another problem will come here. Rook e4, strong move. d e. And queen b3, bishop f7 coming. And after queen d4, bishop e3 here. Yeah. With decisive attack for white. Yeah, rook is coming, bishop f7 check, queen b7. Uh, yeah, this is too much. h5 is, I'm sure, neither even did not consider here. Uh, the option would be knight d7. But after knight d7, Simply knight 6 attacking the queen and take this pawn with free attack. Another option would be bishop g2 from first side here. He wanted to take it with king d3 and play queen f3. Attack here, attack here. And knight d7 looks good. But after knight d7, knight f5. With a threat made in one. Now knight e5 is bad. We take rook e5, fe, then give check on c6 and take on a8 after queen d7. For example, e6 loses immediately. Check and give this mate. That's why rook g8, king h1 simply, e5. Because now e6. Not rook e6 because after queen h5 we have rook g6, but another problem, queen c6 here. With the threat of rook e6, for example, rook c8 loses after check, uh, check, uh, then we give this check and give this mate. And that's why e5 looks strong move. Bishop e3. And despite that white is two pawns down, we don't feel that at all. And uh, white has close to decisive pressure here. Rook goes to d1, what light squares in the position, queen h5, queen h7 it can be possible. And he said more or less best position uh, continuation according to Fisher would be dc here. And after rook e4, queen d5. 
but to control light squares. Queen f3 with idea rook e7 and then e6 in this position. This would be more or less a uh, best continuation. According to Fischer, of course. Yeah, but still it would be very, very hard to play for black. Maybe even bishop g5. Can we play bishop g5 move here? I'm just trying to continue this. Looks uh, uh, looks a crazy move, but one second. fg, then rook a e1. We said the knight e6, rook e6. For example, knight 6. I can even take rook e6 and take here. This is a threat. This and this. So bishop e7 probably. Continuation. But still. Very, very dangerous. Maybe queen h5. We said knight e6. How can we defend this? We defend. Defend with castle and win the game, of course. Easy defend. Ah, actually, castle is coming. Yeah, maybe I overestimated a little bit white's position. Five is too much. One second. Bishop g5, fg, rook d1, maybe with idea knight e6. This looks more, more unpleasant. Where he will put this queen? Such a cool position. I don't know what to do here. Queen b7, I will play knight e6 or rook e6 and take this queen. If bishop e7, I will play knight e6. f e, I guess it's just bad. Should be bad. We just take. This is a terrible position. Rook e6 and queen d5. Oof. This is not option. Queen e6, not option at all because we take here. Wow. This bishop g5, I like. So <laughs> look at this move. Bishop g5 looks so sexy move. What to do here? g5 I somehow don't believe at all. Maybe it's good. But g rook d1. Wow. What a variation. I'm not sure if it works, but it looks beautiful. Computer probably will refutate it. But I will not gonna check, of course. I don't care. Against human, uh, looks extremely dangerous for black and uh, especially in fast controls would be disaster already i really don't see a useful move here what to play i have feelings that black has to sacrifice a queen somehow maybe fg is bad so queen g5 maybe five could be a problem too Knight e6, a3, rook uh, e6, he will play king f7. How can I prepare this option? a1 maybe? What about rook e a1 this move? b4, knight e6, take, take. f7 maybe. Yeah, this is not convincing. Rook e1, I don't like. Rook g4 does not work, unfortunately, because he simply go back. He cannot use this rook. Rook e6, f e it somehow I thought it's a little bit cheap. d6 and castle. Knight e6, queen e5. No. Aha. Uh -huh. So after bishop g5, all of a sudden queen g5 is a strong move here. Hmm. Sorry, this move. Nerja. No, I was time by time I use of course, but. I'm trying without. We are not playing against computer. Um, would be the option. You think rookie one anyway? Before rookie six, rookie six, and queen eight. Okay. Very interesting variations by Fisher, but uh, instead of all of this. After rook e1, what, what played knight of here? He played e5, attacking both pieces. Now white has two options here. Sacrifice or give check first. What do you think? I give you two, three minutes. What, which one you would choose? Who knows the game? Uh, be quiet. Of course.
Think a little bit, guys. The two great players are playing here. You cannot answer in one minute, right? Or even a few seconds. A little bit. Try to understand. NBA Shiro, you cannot find it on Liches. I'm not saying on Liches. You can find it on my on my channel here on Twitch or or on YouTube. So rookie four would be a little bit inaccuracy here because of DE. And once we give this check, Queen D7 is a strong move here. And after Bishop B5, A B, Queen A8, then E D. Queen B8 and then King E7 here. And things are not clear. Blake uses these pawns to hide behind them. Bishop G7 is coming. 5 is coming. Yeah, this would be a cheap continuation. Instead, Queen A4 first. Very tricky check here. Using that after Queen D7, we win this exchange now. So forcing Knight D7 move. Yeah, for example, uh, queen d7, bishop b5, a b, queen a8, attacking the knight. Bishop d6 would be option, but it, he could sacrifice this change. Check on e4, pawns are equal, and after knight e5, the just positionally collapse for, for black here, not even pawn. That's why queen e4 is more tricky move, forcing knight d7 here. And now we take on e4. This was the idea. Now we take D. He take because of DC Knight F5. It's a similar what happened to in the game, but in the game at least Black had exchange. So D only move Knight F5. Look at this positional pressure on Black on Black uh, position Black uh, on Black's king and light squares. Queen B3 is a threat, by the way. Take it here. Bishop e3 is coming with rook d1 idea. So what white has? Five pawns. Uh, black has three. Uh, three. Exchange and pawn up. But they are uh, close to disaster here. Bishop c5. At least uh, knight will try to develop a little bit. Knight g7. Check here. King goes to e7. After king f8, there would be bishop h6, king g8, and queen b3 here. <laughs> he says that after this, white would make harakiri to black king. But usually harakiri is a self-killing, as I know. So it's a bit strange. It's a bit strange comment. But okay. Knight g7, king e7 he played here. Only move probably. Now he goes back on f5, king e8. The point that this is not repetition, the point that uh, black will never have castle now. If he would play bishop e3 uh, in this position without check, uh, then he always could make castle. Now he cannot. So bishop e3. He says that Tal. Offered here to play bishop h6, but uh, after rook a7, rook d1, queen b6, black is still breathing. Thank you, Mad Max Fury, for following. Welcome. But bishop e3, he played. He takes on e3. What else to do here? Fe. 
uh, the exchange of these bishops not make uh, Blake's uh, position easier because first of all this bishop protected this square now knight d6 is a threat and take here and no more active pieces on the board for Blake so queen b6 he played rook a d1 uh, after bishop f7 check of course we don't take but king d8 and in case of rook d1 queen b5 would be the option here and Blake is somehow uh, holding but rook d1 immediately using that d square is controlled and after rook uh, d1 rook a7 obviously was played and rook d6 a decisive blow here queen d8 probably the best option in this position uh, in case of queen c7 he would take on f6 here using this pin also attacking this pawn knight is coming here in case of queen uh, b2 he was going to play bishop f7 check and now king d8 is loses because of queen e5 check king c8 because i guess after rook c7 bishop e6 and then this hangs also so king c8 knight e7 check king b8 only move knight c6 check king a8 and we don't take this rook but we take this knight here and white is winning because we cannot take because of check and mate and after check i guess we go here and in case of queen six it's simply bishop d5 take this queen that's why that's why he's played a more or less best continuation ah yes i did not show you i forget to show this line of course bishop f7 we see king d8 after queen f5 but king f7 would be another option we just take attacking here rook d7 queen d7 only move king g6 because king f8 leads to mate in two so only move king g6 and then we give check on g7 not on f7 take and mate beautiful mate on g4 here that's why probably knight of already was in desperate mode so he played queen c7 uh sorry uh queen uh, d8 to protect this pawn and queen b3 now attacking here uh now rook f8 is loses immediately after check king g7 and queen a3 a slow move and with double mate threat and there is no any defense against it that's why he played queen c7 in this position bishop takes on f7 king d8 king f8 would uh, lead to the mate after bishop h5 queen f7 mate is coming after knight c5 rook f6 and no move for king so king d8 is the only move and after king d8 bishop e6 is simply played attacking this knight and black resigned in this position in 24 moves totally collapse knight of did not want to continue his suffering after rook b7 queen a4 queen c8 protecting this knight queen a5 check uh, now queen c7 rook c7 leads to rook d7 so king e8 only move and after king e8 queen takes on a6 king d8 and then bishop d7 here rook d7 then rook d7 now king d7 will be made in two so queen d7 only moves then queen f6 check and after king c7 then queen e5 check king b6 then queen h8 and white has totally winning win and game for example we place it here and then push our pawns no no perpetual nothing yeah what a, what a game a game Okay, Scandinavian defense now. We should play against Scandinavian, against uh, Robach in same Olympiad in Varna. I don't know how to write Robach, maybe simply uh, like this. 
maybe like this like this or or like this i don't know why why is delete uh var na olympiad what is it? crazy or what can you guys uh robot robot okay Okay, let's go. E4 by Fisher T5. Uh, it was a powered continuation of Robach Queen D5. Knight D3. Queen D8. Uh, Fisher says that. This direction was favorite uh, of Bronstein. First, Black gives uh, a center and then start, start to fight uh, against it. Uh, here is the two more traditional options Queen e5 and Queen d6, we know. And he gives uh, his game in, uh, from 1958, uh, USA. Championship uh, against Seidman. Seidman played queen e5. He played d4 here, knight f6, knight f3, knight d6, and d5. He played double exclamation mark and also question mark. <laughs> he put. He said maybe this is a improvement than natural bishop b5. And after knight b4, he played check on b5, c6. Because uh, in case of bishop d7, he would take on d7, knight d7, and then a3 here. And the point is that if uh, black doesn't attack immediately, then bishop e3 and kick away this knight here. So knight f6 looks strong move, attacking knight, uh, the pawn, and this is a pin. But anyway, uh, white takes play castle here. And after queen a6, rook e1 with very strong pressure. Because uh, long castle is not possible here. Do we have knight e5? And this is. Yeah, not many, of course, of top players playing. I would say nobody. And after this, uh, c6 he played. Statement. He took on c6, bc, and played bishop a4 here. And now bishop d7 was necessary here. Because a3 is a threat, and then we take it. For example, e6, a3, and then this. But he played bishop a6 for an initiative here. And a3 strong move. Rook d8. Bishop d2. Queen f5. So Seidman, we see that he is also play very aggressive. So queen e6 is a threat. And after queen f5. A, B. Ah, this is not threat because we play knight e2. So what he wanted here? Rook d6. He wanted rook e6 here. But bishop b3 controlling, also attacking this bishop. Yeah, something go wrong for Seidman here. Then he played knight e6. And knight e4, he played rook a6. He played rook d2 here. With that, knight d2 give mate. But he simply played queen c1 here. After knight c3, d c rook d6 and castle black simply resign yeah that's why yeah so he gives such variations but uh he played queen d8 like Bronstein. d4 and g6 interesting move here this is a point uh so Black plan to play bishop g7 and then bring this knight from h6 to f5. And after the game, Robach told him that uh, he had uh, good results in this line. Bishop f4 strong move, he, he said. In case of uh, knight f3, bishop g7 with either bishop g4 and after h3, knight f6 because not knight h6 now because of g4 strong move. Not allow this knight f5 and then develop b4 queen d2 yeah and 
This is Sokolsky idea, G4. He likes such a move, see? And knight f6 would be. And white has a leash. Uh, white has only a minimum of advantage here. Bishop d3, castle, castle, and, and normal game. But he played more concretely. Bishop f4. And for example, knight h6 directly now would be not a good option because of bishop e5, very strong move. Or black loses a castling possibility, or after f6, the, the structure is spoiled very much here. So bishop g7, that's why Robach played. Attacking the pawn. Queen d2, strong move. Very concrete play. Ignoring a, a threat on this pawn. And also not allow knight h6. Knight b5 was a weaker in this position because of knight a6 and then c6. It was uh, played uh, between Ronstein and Holmo, USSR Championship 1959. And in case of knight f3, then black would make the plan. So queen d2 not allow, and probably this is not possible to take here. Knight f6, he says that Blake is forcing to play this. Uh, the main line after queen d4 would be uh, queen d4, bishop d4, knight b5, attacking here, attacking here. So bishop b6 only move, and then knight 7, bishop 7, bishop 7. Yeah, this would be 100 moves suffering for Blake, of course. Uh, another continuation would be uh, take with bishop here. And long castle using this pin, knight c6, uh, e5 is loses after bishop e5, and then this knight c6 control the square. But after knight 6, bishop b5 again we want to take. e5 loses again, we take, take, and then mate because of pin. So uh, after bishop b5, bishop d7 the option, and knight d5 strong move because bishop 6 is a mistake. After take, and we take everything, it's on g2 all suddenly. And this rook is attacked here. But uh, instead, knight d5 would be a strong move. With a threat, take here and also attack here. So bishop b6, I assume. No, not bishop b6, e5. And knight f3. And probably black would lost this position. Because the undeveloped the rook is coming, knight d4 is coming here. Yeah. That's why uh, Robach plays knight f6, long castle, c6 he played. And knight d5, Fischer says it was a better option here. Now, uh, bishop h6 would be uh, not a good move, probably, because after knight c3, this home structure is bad now. Hello, Winky, how are you doing? Welcome. But instead, bishop e5 would be the option. Castle, h4, h knight g e2 and white has a clear advantage because of development but nothing force here hey ali <laughs> don't be salty and talk bad words <laughs> why not why not why not i like to talk dirty c6 bishop h6 eliminating this uh Bishop, and now uh, Robach probably been disappointed how opening was end up for him. And castle he played bad move in this position. And maybe it was better to exchange and try to make a long castle actually. Play bishop f5, then knight comes, queen, but it's a little bit slow, of course. Yeah, white will do something for that time. Maybe f3, knight e2, g4, knight f5. Okay. Would be some game, but he played castle and traditional attack here, h4, all suddenly. Now he played queen a5. One second. Uh, I'm just curious can Robach take here and play knight g4, attacking this and this? Probably queen d2 here. And then h5, yeah, then black, uh, black squares are very weak here. Sometimes we can play f3, then knight e2, and g4 coming, yeah. Okay, so after h4, uh, he played queen a5. And h5. 
5, a natural continuation of the attack. GH. Wow, yeah, this is terrible move. He says that uh, Black has to somehow close H file. In case of Rook D8, would be uh, a decisive uh, H G. Now we cannot take H G because Bishop G7 with with a mate in two. I assume here. Big gorilla cheer with hundred beats. Thank you, man. And that's why uh, after H G, F G would be the option. But now we see that structure very bad here. Bishop G7, King G7. Queen H quick check. Then Knight develops. And knight g5 is coming. Also, bet is knight h5 here. Mh bash. Thank you for following. I don't have any course anyway, guys. You mean maybe it's a uh, ginger GM, Simon Williams, or what? Uh, I think. <laughs> I don't have any course about my system or anything. Yeah, Simon Williams, uh, Lali means, of course, as I understood. Yeah, so h5. Uh, yeah, knight h5 would be also very uh, dangerous here because of bishop e2, modest move, with either take here, of course. And then maybe d5 cuts this queen from this square. And after knight f6, bishop g7, king g7. We see how easily white attacking here. G8 and then G4. Reminds us a little bit dragon killing stuff here. G5 is coming. And after rook D8, D5, knight H5. We just take on H5. Take one more time. Queen A5 now loses because of G6. Nice idea. Attacking and after queen G6, rook G5 we win this queen. Why bishop A5 is only option, but uh, still. I guess it's still it will be still g6. Yeah, g6 using this pin. And black is collapsing, yeah? Also this hangs. Why Robach did not find anything more useful than take this ugly ugly move like that. Yeah, queen e5. I do like this queen e5 after h4. Is it so bad really? Like no defense here, he would say. I understand Blake is far behind, but I mean Queen E5, what is Queen E5 it's like you you give up this game, it means. Just give up this game, really. E5, I'm thinking H5, B4. What is this? At e2 would be option b5 b4. This half he can because this knight is also a strong position here. b5 h5 b4. E g not, not so strong because of bc. I guess knight e2. But not knight e2, some knight e4. Knight f2 a g. Yeah? Hmm. I don't have time for this or what? Knight e4, queen e3. And the problem is that uh, if I take here and then play knight f2, he has a g, and I'm losing. In case of knight f2, it's time to take. But is, it, is it so clear? Chief Master, thank you for follow. Yeah, very, very position. Hmm. If we take H in H6, knight G4, queen F4, and queen D6. This looks a defense. So I think B5. B5 I like. B5 move. And then B4 and the knight E4 I do. I think b5 was the last chance here, but queen e5 is too slow. It's not creates any, also not protect. Okay, queen e5 and gh, it means capitulation here. 
So uh, what happened after GH? He simply developed bishop d3 here. Uh, it's very important not allow bishop e5, bishop g6 here, yeah, because bishop e5 we play queen g5 now, attacking and also this pin immediately win. Knight d7 he played. Knight e2. So uh, White is using that uh, Blake not creates any contraplay, so he just developed all his pieces. So Knight g3 is coming. Yeah, position is hopeless here. I don't believe Blake can. Yeah, Queen e5, gh, it was hopeless. Uh, b4, b5, b4 was last chance, I believe. Rook uh, d8 and g4. Look at this position. Impossible to defend. Yeah, all pieces are in attack. And this is only for h pawn. Are you kidding me? Knight f8 he played. Yeah, the point was that in case of knight g4, hg is simply bad. Yeah, we take bishop g7, queen e6. So knight g4, he would play simply rook dg1 here. And black, as a minimum, would lose a piece. His idea bishop g7 and f3. This uh, piece would be a minimum here, definitely. So Robach play in desperation through knight f8. Gh. So white open up g file for decisive actions here. Knight goes to e6, tries somehow to cover this bishop. Rook dg1. Yeah. King gh. A king h8. Because uh, this move was hopeless. We take and trade on h6, knight g4, and queen h7. With a mate or lose the piece. That's why king h8, bishop takes on g7, knight takes on g7, queen goes to h6, attacking this uh, knight, rook g8. Uh, black fastly would get mated in case of knight e6 after knight f4. There is no defense against knight e6 and queen g7. So after queen h6, robach played rook g8 here. And rook g5, attacking queen, and also beside the double here. Now he played queen d8 here. And knight f5 was losing after rook g8. Uh, knight g8 and queen f8, pinning the bishop. Also rook g1 is a threat. Yeah. Total, total domination. So queen, uh, what he played here? Queen d8. Try to protect. And rook h d1. And now Robach simply blundered a piece with knight a5. Just take on a5. He probably resigned. Yeah, after bishop a5, he resigned because uh, the point is that uh, after bishop a5, rook a5, this rook is protected. And in case of uh, queen f8, only move. Protect this. He wanted to play d5 here. Look at this strong move. And now he did lose this because of knight d5. Knight d5 is then mate here. So bishop d7 would be a more or less optimal continuation. And d6, this is the idea. Using that ed, queen f6. d is a threat. Queen f7, rook g7. Knight f5 would be only move. And after knight f5, queen f8. Rook takes uh, f8. If rook g8, we simply take it. So rook a f8. And we take on bishop a5, rook takes on b5, rook g5, h6 in this position, d e, rook goes to d8, and strong move rook g3 here. And after bishop a5, rook f3, win this one of the six pieces. Yeah, so terrible play by Robach. Careless play in uh, open middle games and queen a5. Yeah. That's a game from a uh, USA Championship uh, against Ryshevsky, 1962. 
displayed in and they don't don't say in which uh, city actually uh okay. fortunately no no city So, E4, C5, by Ryshevsky, Knight F3, he goes to Nidorf, as we've seen in the previous game against Nidorf, and H3, he plays again, like against Nidorf. We remember that Nidorf played B5, then Knight D5, it was a crash. Now, Ryshevsky played G6. Uh, and Fischer said it, it's a good option here. So, G4. Hello, Diamantuli. Bishop uh, G7. And G5. Interesting move. Uh, he said maybe it was too uh, early to play like that. Uh, he didn't want to play Bishop H3 too because of castle. And after... Uh, D5, knight, E8. <laughs> Dragendorf, yeah. <laughs> nice. Dragendorf is cool. And he also didn't want to play bishop G2 because of uh, castle. Castle and the knight C6 here. Okay. So he played G5 directly. Knight goes to h5. Strong move by Ryshevsky. Uh, the point was of g5 that he wanted to push knight here, then play bishop e3, queen d2, castle, and then push this pawns forward here. But knight h5 by Ryshevsky. Not allow. Bishop e2. Attacking this knight. e5 he played. Uh, he says that after knight c6, he simply wanted to retreat on b3 here. But not uh, knight c6, bc, bishop h5, gh, queen h5 here. Because of rook b8. With uh, a good compensation. We all remember his famous game against Pasky in Penoni when he played knight h5. So we understand from where this idea comes. You see? This is the idea of Ryshevsky. So I guess Fischer used this idea. That game. So e5. Knight b3. Uh, he did not like knight f5 in this position because of gf and after bishop h5, f4. And this bishop is a little bit out of game here, according to Fisher. Not so nice, uh, not so easy to find uh, useful squares. Why he played a modest move, knight b3 here. And Ryshevsky had the time to. Play knight f4, avoid bishop h5 this time. Knight d5. Uh, he said that objectively white does not have any advantage in this position. Knight d5 he take. Uh, he says that instead of going to simplifications, uh, Ryshevsky should use that uh, white weakness the king side. Uh, Tal suggested in this position more logical castle. And after h4, f5 here. Also, it's interesting to sacrifice pawn after knight d7. And after knight f4, ef in case of bishop f4, bishop uh, B2, and in case of queen d6, bishop e5 in this position. That's also interesting. But uh, Al offered f5 in this position. Another continuation in this. Uh, another continuation here was knight e2, queen e2, and then bishop e6. But probably this was. A good option. The knight developed on d7, rook c8, very harmonically everything. And here is no attack. 
But instead, we take on d5, the strong knight. Queen takes on d5. White not takes ed because then d square also they want to play uh, against this pawn. Knight c6. Now he says that Tal suggested here a quite dubious pawn sacrifice with bishop e6. And after queen b7, knight d7 in this position. And Bishop says after bishop b3, white will have advantage position. So uh, it's uh, black does not need to play so aggressively, the position is quite okay. So knight c6, normal move. Bishop uh, g4, otherwise bishop b6 with tempo. And now Reshevsky take on a g4. Again, Tal uh, suggested f5 here. And now in case of ef, of course not gf because of check, but knight e7 would be strong move. Attacking this, this. And after queen d3, take on f5. Bishop h5 and knight g6 in this position. And black has perfect game here. So after uh, f5, probably uh, he would take gf. Queen takes f6. And he would take on c8. And then he will play c3, avoiding some knight b4 move. And rook c7, and black would have a normal game. Rook f7, castle, and so on. Now, still, he, he says that after bishop e3, maybe it's advantage for white, yeah? So long castle attacking here. Probably he's right. That's why he take on a g4 here. Um, I don't like this bishop g4. Why bishop g4? Could Reshevsky play it instead of this pseudo active move and bishop g4? Can we play like queen e7 here? Curious. If I play bishop e6, I will be okay. So I'm forcing you to take rook c8 with tempo. c3 probably is a move. Or maybe bishop no, c3. And now I want to play queen e6 here. Looks quite good for black and also h6 is coming i think black has advantage here after h6 they can actually use these weaknesses queen e6 is good move 97 queen d5 is a threat what to do with queen excellent position for black i mean uh bishop played uh, not good in this game in the opening but uh, i do like this move queen e7 i would play definitely is either bishop e6 looks so beautiful forcing you know White is playing one, two, three, and develop my rook. I mean, come on, this is too much. And I don't want to play f5 because after f5, it's anti positional because gf, we get rid from this pawn. And this pawn actually, black will use. We'll use this pawn to open up h file and create weakness. So I believe queen e7 is a good move. Just, I'm just curious what computer will say. I'm just curious one second. Usually I'm not checking. This position. I would play queen e7. Roberto says castle, bishop e3. Queen c7. Why queen c7? Try queen e7. Bishop e3. Bishop e6. What a, what a stupid uh, evaluation it gives. Are you crazy or what? Look at this, from plus 1 goes down to 0 0.5, 0 0.3. What the hell? Black has excellent play. B8. Okay, this is... Look at this. Look how quickly it changes. Yeah, this is just bad, bad engine, I guess. Okay, for example, this I don't like. Yeah, rook c8 and c3. And now, I guess, queen e6 is the option here. What about queen e6? Because queen e6 fe is just no problem. I don't see any problem for black here. Zero problem here. No any problem. What to do? Queen e5 square. If bishop e3. Yeah, then we take knight e7. It's just better for white. If we go now h6 somewhere. Yeah, in h6. Yeah, this was I wanted. You see? And now we open up position and this is weak. Yeah, we can keep king in the center. We have a perfect position. Okay. Yeah, maybe queen c7 also is open. Queen c7, I guess I would play c3 here. And then what to do with black here? 
All right, this is the details, but I do like this move for some reason. I don't want to open this file, so AG. And now Queen C8 he played. This was Zereshevsky's idea, concrete decision. He attacks the pawn and also Knight B4 is, is the option here. Or he played Queen D1 and he says that after Queen D6, uh, Black would have initiative with Queen G4 attacking the pawn. And after Queen D3, then Rook D8. Yeah. Hello! And Queen E2, then Queen G2 here. Yeah. Rook F1, then H6. And Black has a strong initiative in this position. Okay, this is obvious. That's why he played Queen D1, protecting uh, the pawn and also avoiding Knight B4. Looks like only move. What Reshevsky played. And now he played a bad move according to Fischer. He played knight d4. Yeah, uh, Reshevsky was playing implicate yeah, to change, change, but then this bishop, when he ex exchanged this knight to this, this bishop to compare this is dead. Instead, he would should play queen e6, bishop e3, and then long castle with equal position according to Fischer. Probably he would play queen f3, then long castle, and so on. But well, suddenly Reshevsky played knight d4 here. Yeah, also in one of the Bulgarian magazine was offered d5 move. Look at this move. d5. To get rid from this uh, weakness on d6. So ed is a continuation here. Because uh, queen d5, we see knight b4 attacking queen and attacking the pawn. So ed. Knight b4, c3, and queen c4. Look at this variation. Uh, with two following uh, options. cb would be bad move because of check, attacking uh, rook same time, so forcing king d2 here. And then rook d8, so rook d5 is a threat. Very interesting variation. King c3 would be option. Look at this. Try to hide behind the knight here. But all suddenly. Bishop f8, strong move. Attacking the pawn, also rook c8 is a threat. And now knight c5, it loses after bishop c5. Rook d5, this attacked, also this attacked. And in case of a3, rook c8, I guess. King d2 only move. Knight c5 is loses again because uh, we take twice. And then after king b3, we'll give mate on c4. So king d2 only move and after king d2 bishop e7 strong move with decisive attack of black g5 is coming this king is really in serious danger here one second why not knight c5 where is decisive attack then what after knight c5 we do i'm uh, just showing uh, fisher variations so how we win here after knight c5? Can we take maybe? Can we take? Yeah. And just take that rook d5. Yeah, this looks like decisive already. Because no no good options for yeah, okay. Just lost. And C B was mistake, but another option was here. Rook h3. Defending against queen e4 and also not allowing knight d3. Now queen e4, king f1, knight c2, with the idea rook b1, knight d4 or something. We would lost immediately after knight d2. Rook controls d square and d square. And queen has to go to d5 and we take this knight. But after rook h3, knight d5 would be only option. Queen e2 and queen c7 with equal chances. So d5 also was very very interesting move. But in, instead of these good options, Reshevsky played knight d4. And after c3, he takes on b3. He loses two tempos to get rid from his active knight. Exchange on this passive knight here. And this bishop is emphasized now by this one. a b, queen e6 protecting. Rook a5 by Fischer. He wants to go here. And now another mistake, f6. Yeah, Reshevsky was in, not in good shape, this position. This leads to 
quite boring and uh, quite sad end game for Black, with uh, chances only for draw, with suffering. Much more better was Castle in this position. And after Rook D5, Rook A D8. Thank you for following. Welcome. We with following F6 here. He said probably Fisher would play Bishop E3 here. And still, it's like only White can play here, of course. But uh, instead, what he did here, he did f6, terrible move. And queen d5, very strong reaction by Fisher. The point is that he's forcing to take on d5 now. Because queen g4 is loses. Yeah, we cannot also play king e7 because of this. Queen g4 is loses because of. Uh, uh, queen b7 attacking rook and bishop so castle is only option and then gf using all of a sudden this rook here with mate and rook f6 we take here that's why he take on d5 what else maybe queen d7 was the option he did not say about this anything exchange and not, uh, also not give this pawn the point is that we cannot make short castle I assume he would take, take and play bishop e3 here. Okay, I don't know. Seems advantage for white, but not decisive. Maybe we can play uh, king d2, king c2 here. Hide king on safe place and then rook d1 and put pressure. That we take on d5. Rook takes on d5. King goes to d7, yeah? He wants to bring it to e6, I guess. Gf. Bishop takes f6. And g5. Put a uh, pawn on black square, which is usually not good, but more important to fix this uh, weakness here. Not allow. Maybe Ryshevsky says that he has time for h5, but g5 is not move, yes? Because this weakness compensates by this weakness. And this weakness is compensated with nothing here. Bishop e7. King e2. Controlling this square. Avoid some kind of operations. Yeah, now it's clear that uh, for black it's very very hard to defend this position. Yeah, because they don't have any counterplays. They just need to uh, wait and be very careful all the time what white is doing they, and white can play on different sides on the king side in the center maybe with f4 and also sometimes these pawns are moving so very difficult because of this passive bishop and we see that um, black position is like japan with lots of islands here we see against against usa let's say so king e2 rook a f8 Bishop e3, rook fc8. So Reshevsky does not know what to do. He just move left, right. b4 he played. And he said maybe it was better to play c4 here with idea c5. And after king c7, then b4. And also this pawn can be protected with another one. And then b5, open up files, open up position. Instead he played b4. Let's see what is the difference. Yeah, b5 is the difference. All suddenly, Ryshevsky played b5 here. And this is that a lot of commentators was criticizing this move because uh, black is creating another weakness here. But in case if black would simply sit and wait, he would play uh, king d3 and then c4 here. And would gain more and more space here. Would be very difficult for so he decided to stop this idea. He played rook d1 here. Because white cannot keep this rook forever on this beautiful square. And also he did not want to play this because I guess rook c6 and then this rook can be transferred here. So I guess he wants to keep this rook here. Rook d1 probably with attacking ideas. Maybe he wants to play rook a1, rook 6 and then double rooks on h file. And then win this pawn. 
Yeah, so two options or double rook on a file. For example, after rook a1, if rook goes here, then we can double also rooks on a file and win this pawn. So we see that like position is quite hard. Rook c6 he played in advance. No, sorry, what he played here? He played the most natural move, king e6, rook a1, and rook c6 here. Now he played rook h3. Of course, rook h4 would be a, a big, huge mistake because of h5 using this pin, and now this pawn is strong. And zero problems for black now. But rook h3. We see that he wants to play rook h1 and eat this pawn. Bishop f8 was played. With the idea, I guess, after rook h1, protected with rook from here. He says that d5 was losing a pawn, but uh, there would be some, uh, some uh, hope for black. For example, after ed, king d5, rook h1, king c4. Well, suddenly king is a main actor here. Rook takes on h7, bishop on the attack, rook e6 protecting. And now he wants to play king b3, and after bishop c1, king c2. That's why king d2 here. King f3 would be a mistake because of uh, e4 check and then king b3. So king d2, king b3, and not the, with the idea king c1 go to the passive. But king d3, this is his idea. And king b2, because e4 leads to king d4, king d5, and then we take it and also this on the attack. So king b2 and king e4 strong move. This was his idea. And now bishop f8 would be more or less an uh, option, because uh, king c3 leads to king d5 attacking the rook. This rook is overloaded with defense, so rook d6 check on the only option. And king e5 using that bishop cannot go here because of this rook d7 not possible king e6 so only move and after bishop uh, f8 there will be rook c7 strong check because we cannot take two of check take this rook so king b3 would be only option rook c8 attacking the bishop forcing bishop e7 then rook e8 rook d7 king e6 with a win because after rook b7 i guess we exchange and then king b4 we Grab this pawn, and while this pawn comes here, we will go king e5, g6, then play bishop d4, stop it, and promote our queen, of course. So, uh, that would be after king c3 in this position. That's why bishop f8 is a good option here. And after that, rook h8, bishop goes to g7, rook g8. Who goes to e7 and after rook e7 rook c8 strong move in this position with following rook c6 yeah but i mean um obviously uh but the problem is that if you don't play like that then uh you will die very slowly and in suffer so reshevsky choose second option rook c6 is a threat here rook e6 and king d5 this is like example variations what the problems has black. Let's see what Reshevsky chose here. He played after uh, rook h3, uh, bishop f8. He played. I guess uh, he did not play this, probably maybe because of rook h1, and all suddenly bishop b6 can be the problem. And the pro we take on d8, whatever you take, uh, I grab this pawn. Yeah, this would be quite unpleasant because this pawn is also a weak. That's why he played uh, bishop f8 in this position. Rook a h1 and rook c7. Now d5 will be obviously reason very very slow. That's why he played rook c7 and rook h4 strong move by Fischer. A critical position, he said. Because... Uh, Black is almost like in Tsukswank in this position. We see that uh, black cannot leave from this square. Here or here because of rook a1 and then we don't have rook c6 move. 
and also rook a7 because of bishop so we lost this pawn this rook cannot move because of this bishop cannot go because of this so king cannot go because of this a5 we don't have so only d5 option what he played so rook c4 also would be an option here jan christo hello how are you doing and white would win with following variation of course not rook h7 to give some chances some hopes after rook e4 d5 maybe it's also winning than rook a7 but much stronger is f3 not allow this and after f3 rook c7 he has to go because d5 we play rook h7 midnight fox just subbed thank you man appreciate it. midnight fox i guess i remember your sound name but I don't, I don't remember if you've been active in chat or not. Maybe not. So f3 and after f3, uh, rook c7 option. Now d5 is totally uh, useless because we take and this rook took important. Uh, yeah, you're not Duda, I know. <laughs> so you did king d5, rook h7, and then there is not even contra playoff. So. This combination of this rook c4 d5 moves not work, so rook c7 only move. And king f2 would be option, similar to the game, but uh, now a e4 pawn is protected. And after d5 only move, what else? No moves, because once you go here, I will just grab this pawn. One second, one second, one second. Is Fisher completely sure about this, that we, uh, we cannot do anything else? Bishop uh, f7. Do it one second. Seven. One. F8, rook h3. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work. So d5 would be the option. And rook a1. Only move rook c6 to protect it. And after ed check, rook e d1 check. We don't have this because of rooks. Now taking e6, rook d8 with winning position. Bishop c5 is a threat. Forcing one moment bishop g7, we exchange and take this pawn. Yeah. Beautiful variation. Not so much, but we have met many times. I'm from Sweden and you have played a lot in Sweden. Keep up the nice stream. Thank you. Or tuck, I have to say. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Uh, so... Instead, in this position, uh, Reshevsky didn't find better move than d5. We still have this pawn squeezing uh, Black's possibility here. And after uh, d5, rook a1 was played. And he said, most probably Reshevsky. Uh, no, he not say most probably. He said, definitely uh, Reshevsky underestimated this move, rook a1. Uh, he was expecting most probably ed king d5 and rook d1 check king e6 rook d8 and then to, to compare a different with z position when rook was on d6 uh now he has bishop g7 move here and after rook h8 bishop h8 this pawn is protected this is a difference huge difference that's why in that position rook a1 rook c6 and ed rook d1 rook d8 was very important to But Fisher surprised him with rook a1 move. The same idea, yes? After this, we take and play this and rook d8 here. Yeah, he actually played it because uh, he is simply hopeless. We give check. Now king f5 leads to mate in one. If king retreats, we just take and pawn up. And after king e5, rook b6. He lost this, he lost this, and position collapsing. That's why he played rook c6. And now Fisher take rook d1. And rook d8, and no more bishop g7 option. And to compare to that variation, uh, this is even better for white because then f3 king f4, f2 was position. And so, what to do here? After rook c7, he would play rook a8, attacking, and after rook 6, then bishop c5, forcing bishop g7, and then take rook h7. That's why Ryshevsky played king f5. And after king f5, he simply plays rook a8. 
spinning or tying this rook to this pawn. Rook goes to e6, rook h3, with idea rook f3 here. Bishop g7 was played here because uh, king g4 also was hopeless in this uh, position because of check. Now king f5 leads to rook f3 and lost of bishop. So king h4. Then rook f3 attacking the bishop. Bishop g7. We take on f h8. Then we play rook f8 attacking bishop. Bishop goes to g7. Then rook f7. Game is over because bishop goes. We check and take this bishop on h8. In case of uh, in e4, this position, there would be rook f3 again. Very similar position, uh, variation. He takes rook f8, then rook f7, then he gives check, h7, and with totally winning position, g8, king e3, so on. So, why after rook h3, uh, he played. Bishop g7 to save this bishop. And after bishop g7, he just take, take. This is a uh, principles of uh, two or three weaknesses in the end game. We see that principles of two weaknesses, a6 and h7, was uh, a good example in this end game. This game. Rook e8 only move. Rook f7 check. King g4. Because e4 would be check and then king d3. And then uh, king will capture this very testy square. So he plays king g4. f3, king g3. And now he played bad move king d3 here. And he says that when he played king d3, in uh, audience start a lot of, uh, you know, they started... A uh, lot of, uh, how to say, noise in audience. But he could not understand what happened. And the point was that he missed king f1 here. With the idea bishop f2 with mate. <laughs> yeah, and after king h4, he would play simply king g2 and then give mate here. Funny. Everybody in audience sees this, <laughs> but not visual. So king d3, he played e4 check. Uh, Black is giving second pawn to activate his uh, bishop, but it doesn't save the game, of course. Fe, rook, d8, check. Bishop, d4, we cannot exchange because it will be two passers. It's only me who is not winning usually with two passers in bits, but okay. King, g4. Rook, f1. Uh, bishop, e5. Wait. Uh, because after king g5, he wanted to give check here, and we cannot cross each file because we're taking this. And after king f4, just rook g6, and also take this. Why he played bishop e5 in this? King e3, get rid from the king, bishop c7. Of course, bishop d4, cd, king g5, we just push these pawns. Bishop uh, c7, rook g1, check. Bishop g3 loses after bishop e5 pin. So king uh, h4, king f3. With idea bishop f6 and give mate here. And after king f3, rook d7. Rook f8 also was losing because of bishop f6. Rook h1 is a threat, so king h3, we just give check. And it push this pawn till the queen. So... It's hopeless as we see. He just continue by inertia e7. After bishop f6, he wants to give this check probably. e5 simply goes. f7. King goes to e4. Rook goes to f5. e6. Yes! Today also I played tournament. Uh, a few hours back. I took fourth place in this organized by European Czech French. French organizers. I made like eight and a half out of eleven. Power COVID error. Let's go. <laughs> Damn, missed it. Yeah, Inky. Dead. It was much fun in in the chat because I put emotes only, and they were sending you know, like <laughs> especially John Twitch with his fires. You know. 
Das ist wirklich really fun. So Bishop D8 was played because E7 is a threat, so Bishop D8. And he played Bishop F6 here. Forcing exchange these bishops and position is totally lost after King D5. And after rook f2, this idea put it here, rook e1, uh, let's give it Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you will see what game I didn't win against uh, Bogdan Tick, you will, you will be shocked what I didn't win. I not, not only win, I just lost. I still, I still cannot believe that I, I lost that game. That's incredible. Yeah, this is this interesting variation in opening of two knights. Fischer versus Bisgaya. Yeah, don't remind me that not rook and game, of course. It was a opponent game. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, after that disaster lost, I managed to make Fourth place, not so bad. Fischer versus Bisgeier was played in an open uh, championship of New York City, 1963. Don't have any idea how to write this guy, maybe like this. He's by year, maybe like this. I'm not sure. Totally not sure. Can anybody tell me how to write this guy? I never played concert, said I was happy. We are only human. <laughs> this is clear. Wow, I, I did it correctly. Wow, impossible that I did it correct. Crazy. <laughs> so, E4 by uh, Fischer. And E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop E4, of course. He says that uh, last time he played this when he was 12 years old in US USA Championship 1955. He was born in 1943. Knight F6, yeah. Another main line is Bishop C5, Italian. Knight F6. Now, Knight G5 is the most principal direction, of course. Knight G5. D. E D Knight F five. This is that it's interesting, but incorrect to play Knight D four. The idea is that after C three D five, I guess Bishop F one is a strong move here, if I remember well. With some crazy positions, but Knight F five is the main move. Yeah, it's coming from the telegraph match. Between Chigorin versus Steinitz. Steinitz versus uh, Chigorin. Steinitz was thinking that knight f6 is incorrect and Chigorin was vice, vice versa. So, very interesting. <laughs> one one dumb. Yes, you're fine. Uh, c6, uh, dc, uh, bc, bishop e2. Killer cars, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate man. Would you have a stream teaching various and games? Maybe one day. 
let's see h6 and now knight f3 is the main option here e4 knight e5 and it leads to crazy variations of d4 i played it a few times in my career with white and black has enough compensation usually but he played knight h3 i also played this move interesting move here He said that this, idea, this was one of the idea of Stainis, by the way, William Stainis. And it was not in Grandmaster's practice more than 70 years, he said. Yeah, and he also said about this famous match by Telegraph in uh, eight, 1891 uh, between Stainis and Chigorin. And then Chigorin won that match. That's why probably they forget about this. So bishop e5. Also should be considered bishop d6 option here after d4 then e4. Okay, this is some opening uh nuances. We will skip it. So bishop c5 was played. Hustle. He said maybe it's a little bit better to play d3 here, actually. And after castle, then play knight c3, rook e8, then castle, bishop h3, gh, queen d7, with either take, and then bishop g4, knight g4, hg. Of course, black not obliged to play like that, but he said it was maybe interesting. But he played castle in this position. So, castle. There was one re recommendation of Gottschall to play g5 here using this knight on the corner and after king h1 g4 knight g1 and knight e4 here but bishop g4 is strong move knight f2 rook f2 bishop f2 and he says that despite that white is exchanged down they have a good practical chance here what if a uh, white wants to avoid exchange sacrifice? He can play b4 here. And yeah, also queen e1 is useless because of queen d4 and then we take it. So b4 and after b4, uh, knight f2. In case of bishop f2 here, then d3, queen h4. We said they give mate like this, this, but d we take. Now g3 we play simply h3. So bishop uh, g3, knight h3. Bishop takes h2, and after bishop h2, king h2. g3, then king g1 here. Whatever variations here. And then bishop h3. <laughs> Crazy. And after a knight f2, rook f2, bishop f2, then b8. This position. Queen h4. Strong move with either bishop g3. And after queen f1, bishop g3, h3, rook g8. With very strong attack here. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that was very cool. But this uh, guy, after castle, uh, he played. I guess he also played castle. Yeah, he played castle. D3 was played. Bishop takes on h3. Um, he he uh, shows uh, a game from match staying Chigorin and he considers that this was an improvement compared to that game. Knight d5 was in. Okay. D8, queen d7. And bishop f3 he played. A very hard moment of the game, he said. Uh, he declined to play king g2 here. Because he wanted to bring bishop on g2 square. 
and uh, bishop g4 he declined because of knight g4 and with following a5 and initiative on the king side that's why he played bishop f3 so he gave back this pawn uh, but he says that he believes in pair of bishops in this variation knight d2 was played uh, for example bishop g2 he thinks it was a mistake after queen h4, queen e1 attacking here, because of rook f e8, queen takes on a5, then knight g4 attacking here, attacking here, h3, bishop takes on f2, rook f2 because king h1 leads to queen g3 here, mating idea after e g this is a mate, so after uh h3 bishop f2 rook f2 and queen f2 h1 then e4 look at this look what's going on here with the idea ed is a rook e1 here and after a g ed it's a decisive attack for black rook e2 is coming rook e1 is coming that would be very dangerous that's why he's not in rush win uh, material he just develop pieces and this knight a little bit out of game now e4 was not working because he would take 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 and after bishop d6 he simply have f4 close this diagonal that's why after knight d2 he played rook d8 bishop g2 attacking the queen queen goes to a5 uh, he need to uh, left h file because after queen h4 would be knight f3 strong move here and after queen h5 or suddenly queen e1 double attack here here and here and why doesn't uh black doesn't have enough control play that's why after uh, bishop g2 he played queen e5 queen e1 with either knight f3 or with knight e4 but he said maybe it was preferable to play queen f3. Uh, sorry, queen f3 with hope to exchange the queens and have a little bit slight better uh, end game because of pair of bishops and also this is weak. But he played queen e1. Rook goes to e8, defend. Knight goes to e4. Now knight e4 is big blunder because of d and then we take here. So bishop b6 is more or less forced. Like this. Knight and he take on f6 because uh, he didn't want to allow knight d5 and knight a4 here. No, Midnight Fox, this is a book of Fisher, my memorable 60 games. But he says that much more energetic moves than knight f6 in this position was uh, d4, knight b7, and then b5. Using that uh, CB will fall down after knight f6 and we take this knight. This he thinks was much more energy mission probably. After knight f5 I guess bishop d2 is very unpleasant attacking this knight. So what, what would be a black option? Maybe knight d5. After bc knight a5 is idea to take. What we play, what we play with white here? Yeah, it's cool book. Not so easy to say. Okay. In, in, instead, uh, he played uh, knight f6, not allow this idea. Queen f6, obviously. King h1, get rid from this, and always future have a 4 idea. Because this pawn is a, a little bit weak here. Now, he played c5, move with idea knight c6, knight d4, but g5, according to Fisher, was stronger. Not allow this f4 idea here. And even in some uh, variations, black can play knight b7 here, knight d6, knight f5, and bring it to h4. If you manage to do it, he will have good position. Interesting. Can I play b4 again? Knight b5 maybe? Ah, but then e4 now. e4 in this attack. Dangerous. And knight f6 was 
G5 was very interesting move. But let's see five. This idea definitely and what happened after g5? Queen c3 strong move. Maybe this move underestimated Bisgaya here. Uh, uh, white is not allowing c4 and also makes this pin. And f4 will be much stronger after this. And the rest of the game, this bishop will be like a big pawn on b6. Knight c6 he played. Now g5 is not stops f4 because if we play it and then we take bishop f4 and this is a pin. And black is collapsing. So knight c6 after c5 is the most logical continuation. What else? c6. And knight c6. He played f4 finally. Knight d4 and queen c4. Probably with idea c3 some more. Also, uh, the threat is f e and then queen f7. Uh, he did not like here take on e5 because of queen e5, bishop f4, and then queen penetrates to e2 and attack this pawn. Uh, I did not see midnight fox. I did not see yet. Yeah, multifunctional move. Exactly, donk mopsy. <laughs> donk mopsy. Cool. E4, very nice square for queen. Nothing, nothing can attack it. Queen g6 played by Bisgar to avoid this uh, threat fe. And he wanted to play simply now. Queen h5, knight f5, knight g3, and win the game. Queen e6 would be the bad move in this position because of queen a4, he said. And not bad move, but with following queen d7 because now. Uh, after rook d7, we play c3 and then penetrate on c6 here. Not forcing option for black, obviously. Hello! Give me dress. What is queen e4? I don't understand. What is this move? And what if we compare to the game? Uh, play now queen g6. Because understand uh, when he played in this position six he played three here he said so somebody after the game from spectators offered to play bishop e4 queen h5 and f5 here but then queen e2 would be very unpleasant move attacking the rook here and after rook g1 knight f3 probably black would have good chances to win here C3 move, knight f5 was played. And knight e2 would be bad due of f5. And after queen f6, bishop e3 in this position. And then bishop will get this square. Yeah, after this, this, yeah. White is completely dominated over, especially this bishop is dead. Position is closed on king side. Yeah, this would be a bad. How much is my score in, uh, you mean, uh, you asking, uh, you ask probably in this tournament what I played today. I guess I made uh, eight and a half out of 11. Fourth place. I don't know what, because I don't see, I don't see what is written. I use some external chat here. I'm not seeing my channel chat. Doesn't show. Ah no, then I don't, then I don't understand. I just don't see what you mean. One second, guys. Uh, let me understand. After queen e6, he said in this position. Queen e4, but uh, uh, in my opinion, then to compare what happened in game, this is improvement for black definitely. First of all, I guess they have c4 here, very unpleasant move because queen c4 we take a knight c2, knight c2, I guess. If c3, I will be not surprised even if cd is working. After this, rook d4. Like this queen, d2 is coming. If queen d1, maybe d2 steals, then rook d8. It's not convinced at all. I don't know. e4 is also option. 
I guess up to queen e6, uh, white actually has not to play queen e4 in my opinion. Something else definitely. Maybe c3 would be objectively stronger. It was in dc, but black is doing okay here, yeah? As they play, uh, as they play knight c2 and then e4. It's also not a candy. Queen e4 I don't like. What about take? Take and play five here. Ah, then rook f6 with double threat. So maybe c3 first. And in case of knight c2, then we play five. Or not. We play simply rook b1 here. Then the ef I don't like. Five, rook d6. b1, then rook d3. Or then rook d1 here. I don't know. Especially in pandemic period, especially must focus on tactics because we don't know when will be restored OTB classical format. So now we live in virtual space where is normally fast controls. So as stronger you are in tactic, as better. But in general, of course, you you have to make balance balanced operation, include tactics and other stuff. Um. So knight six was played f4. I don't like this queen g. Queen e6 was good move actually. After queen e4, queen g6 just improving variation what's happened in the game. But okay, what to do? G6, uh, c3, knight f5 was played. F e. So white is open position as much as possible for bishops. He said that after bishop e4 and queen h5, it was not clear who is attacking whom. Knight g3 is a threat, knight d6 is a threat, yeah, definitely bad move. So that's why he take only 5 he did not find better move. Imagine the same position when queen would be on a4, yeah, much better for black. This is also attacked some c4 ideas, would be in the air. I don't know. So he take a rook e5, bishop f attacking the rook uh, queen f4 would be a bad move here do of bishop c7 and after bishop e4 then queen h5 the threat is rook e4 and then this is the attack so bishop f4 rook e2 so black is playing for victory he said uh, he says that after knight e3 Bishop is three and rook is three. Uh, game would be equal, yeah. Because this bishop can be like this. This is weak, but black is playing for victory. So rook e two attacking bishop. Bishop e four he played, and this was a critical position here. And now, according to Fisher, uh, this guy played mistake, and he says that it was pity when, in the moment when uh, fight was starting to be very very complicated and interesting this guy makes a terrible mistake terrible move here terrible blunder the correct move would be rook e8 in this position with idea rook 8 e4 and then mate on g2 and it would lead to black's victory if white would play rook g1 then queen h5 rook a f1 because Red again, rook e4 and then queen f3. So white has to control this square. But uh, knight e3, strong move. With a fork, we cannot take it because of mate. And queen b5 attacking the rook. Then rook e4 here. D, and then we take knight f1. And white is collapsing here. Yeah? Rook f1, then queen g4. The queen e8 check, h7. Rook g7, then king g7, bishop e5, using this pin here. But black simply can take. Of course, we cannot play f6 because of queen h5. This is attacked. We cannot play king e7 because mate in two. So only move queen e5, queen e5, and f6 here, using that uh, this square is controlled. Queen e7, then king g6, queen e8, king g7. 
g5 and black is probably winning here escape from the uh from the perpetual but after rook e8 the best move according to fisher not rook g1 but bishop f3 avoiding sacrifice and not allow also queen h5 and after rook b2 rook a1 uh, uh he thinks that uh, white would have equal chances because because of this strong pair bishops i don't know hard to say very sharp position so it theoretically can be some mistakes in analyze probably yeah f3 move knight h4 then will be rook g1 again okay but this guy all suddenly at this position he take this pawn what was that how he would take this pawn who cares about this pawn And after rook b2, he simply blundered bishop e5 move. Look at this move. The spin. And he got completely changed in face when he sees bishop e5 move. After rook e8, rook f5, e5, f5, he simply resigned. I mean, after rook b2, he just simply resigned. Very interesting game. Okay, guys, probably I will show you one more game and then I will go to rest. Tomorrow I, I probably will not stream and then I will wait you that on Tuesday, on, on Tuesday, of course. It would be funny if it's titled Tuesday on Wednesday. Okay, let's see this game. Versus Penko. This was a US USA Championship in 1963. Penko. All right, let's go, guys. E4 played by Fischer. G6. Yeah, Ufimtsev. It's Ufimtsev. Uh, D4, Bishop G7. No, uh, yeah, I'm just really tired. Really, I did not sleep last night well. I also played today and streaming quite a lot, so enough really for today I don't feel fresh knight c3 uh, c4 d6 knight c3 transposed to the king's uh, indian knight c3 d6 i played here many times bishop e2 knight f6 and h4 quite tricky up also in classical f4 principal most energetic line another possible line is not Bishop is three and f3, then queen d2, long castle, and so on. f4, knight f6, knight f3, castle, bishop d3. No, Fisher is not my favorite player. Alokhin, one of the favorites. I said it many times. Alokhin, Lasker, Schlechter, Twinik. I'm a little bit stuck in, in these classics, you know. This move is better than bishop e2, he said. And now, according to Fisher, a mistake, bishop g4. I guess uh, I'm not playing this uh, by white and black, but knight c6, if I remember, is the main move. Castle, then e5, and this stuff. But bishop g4.
Okay, so h3 he played. Bishop f3, queen f3. Uh, up to queen f3, knight c6 attacking this pawn. Bishop goes to e3. Uh, his idea to develop and keep these pawns. Of course, he don't want to play d5, open this diagonal, give some squares. Bishop is really logical. Also, e5 is option here. And that's why uh, Benko played e5 because after knight d7, e5 would be a very unpleasant move with passive uh, position for black. After we play long castle and then h5, h h4, h5 is attack. So e5 is like more or less forced here. Uh, we take de, d, and then e5. Knight Soren sp, knight b4. Uh, could be the option, of course. But even if I play long castle, it's nothing good for black, I guess. Take, take. You're behind of development. E5, you cannot play. I'll play next move E5, then H4, H5. It's a bit much better developed. You, you see, C5 is not possible. What to do here? It's a really good question. Knight D7, I will instantly start attack. Black is losing too much time. One, two, then one, two, three. And for white, developed, yeah? Knight c3, bishop is 3 long castle, rook. That's why uh, e5, that was his idea. d, d, and f5. He wants to play g4, g5, f6, and kill this bishop on h8. So black has to be very quickly here. And gf. He says that this was the strongest move here. And he said that in that time, when he commented this game, uh, knight d4, he, he, in case of knight d4, he wanted to play queen f2, gf, ef here. And he says that black has a, a very bad position here. Coming long castles and g4, g5 here. And there was one game, uh, and black plays here b5. Castle in c5 against e5. Probably he played to avoid long castle, but I think he on short castle also quite good. Then knight e4, he captured uh, after exchange this e4 square and after kick away this knight and get a big advantage. Uh, that's why he thinks gf is the strongest move here. And the point that queen e5 is forced because ef is e4 very unpleasant move here. And all suddenly black is who has a quite strong threats. If knight e4 is a knight e5, if bishop e4 is a rook e8, then be option knight d4 is option. That's why queen e5. Sergey, in the end I managed to get the fourth place. I made eight and a half out of eleven. Fourth place. Not bad after the terrible lost. Knight d4 was played. Benko is ready to give a pawn. Uh, because he wants to push away this uh, queen from the dominant square. Thank you, Sergei. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but he says that maybe more safe was queen d7. But obviously, in the game is as bad. I will, I will just take. Then play knight d5. This attack. Okay, this is terrible in the game. I'm not agree with. Yeah. No, no. This is terrible. So he played knight d4, queen f2. And he was long time uh, uh, considering queen e5. He wanted to play it. And after knight g4, he wanted to sacrifice on g7 here. In g7, a g with promising attack for two pieces. Yes, and long castles and yeah, very strong initiative here. So, queen f2 was played. And the queen f2, knight e8 was played. Uh, it's, he says that this move is more active than knight d7 here. Because after long castle, knight c5, king b1, uh, with following knight e2 and then c3. Uh, so, it would be quite 
unpleasant game for Black, according to Fisher. And now, after knight e8, uh, he is preparing knight d6 and then f5. Some kind of King's Indian ideas. He played short castle all suddenly here. And long castle also was possible. Knight d6 and then knight e2. Exchange this uh, knight and then not allow f5. But he wanted to. Uh, he, he thought that uh, king on short side will be more. Uh, more in more safety. Knight d6, a sharp position. He was expecting c6 and then he wanted to play knight e2 using this square, the weakness. Yeah, otherwise he, now white black has to exchange only active piece. Otherwise, this knight will get these squares or these squares once we play knight g3, c3. But knight d6 by Benko. Win uh, g3. Uh, he said this was uh, the only way to uh, keep initiative. In case of knight d5 here, would be f5 in this position. And after bishop uh, d4, not e d e f, e f, but knight e4. Uh, strong move. And after bishop e4, f e. This attacked and this attacked and also knight attacked. And in case of knight e2 here, then f5. And black has an active counterplay here. But he played queen g3. Also bishop h6 is a threat here. King h8. Uh, a5 would lead to uh, advantage in the game for white after bishop h6. So we just exchange everything on g7 and then take ef. And after knight f5. Rook a e1 attacking the pawn, rook a e8, and the knight e4. Yeah, because this is isolator, also c3 we kick out this knight and 2 versus 1, and also bishop is strong. Yeah, would be a suffering here. Of course, Benko avoid this with king h8. He wants to make an accent on the attack. Queen g4 strong move, not allow this f5 move. Only chance for black. And now he played a passive move, c6. Maybe c5 was a good move, he said, with idea f, with idea c4 here. So after queen g4, he played c6. Now he played queen h5. So the idea to take on d4 and then e5 and win the game because of attacking here and here. And what happened after this? Queen e8, bad move. It was absolutely necessary to play knight e6, he said, with the idea c5 here. Uh, sorry, knight e6 or, or, or c5 was it. But, yeah, game is quite, uh, quite sad for, for black here. But he played knight e6. No, one second, what he played? Knight e6 or c5 was necessary, but he played also queen e8 here. And what do you think? Who knows this? Who knows this, guys? Uh, don't say anything. Who knows this game? And who don't know, I give you like two, three minutes. Yeah. Shh. Shh. <laughs> don't say anything. GT key. Yeah, I mean, who knows that other thing a little bit. So, guys, I give you two, three minutes. Uh, guess what happened? Everybody knows, yeah? Don't try to remember, just find it yourself. You win this game in... Uh, I will tell you. Uh, this is number 18 now, 18 number coming. And on 21st, white and black resigned. So, the four moves he win. Any ideas? D4, I will take ED. Then what to do? What's the point to take on D4? Do I open this square or queen this square or bishop? Looks, looks ugly move. What's the point to take on D4? 
And after e5, then I will play f5 strong move. And attacking your queen. And close the bishop. This was uh, actually Benko's idea when he played queen e8. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. But bishop d4, e d, e5, f5. And Blake is absolutely fine. Close to equal. How can you improve that ideas, guys? What can you do here? How can you win in four moves? Can you imagine in four moves? Four moves, uh, Benko simply resign. What do you mean open bishop, Jan Christoph? If you open bishop, I will play f5 once again, I repeat. Close your bishop and attack your queen. Then what to do? Queen e8, rook e8, e d, d c I play and opposite color of bishops most probably it will end up with draw. Big chances for draw. Oh alright, okay. I will not torture you guys. Bishop d4, of course, strong move. E D and now Benko was thinking about e5, f5, strong move. And why it doesn't have time for EF? Because this hangs. After this, we take with Rook, and this is a, a heaven to compare what happened. All well, suddenly, in this position, Rook F6. Look at this beautiful move. Boom. Look at this move. We close this, we block this pawn, and if we take this E5 and just give mate here. Look at this Rook F6 move. And King G8 is a uh, forced. What else to do? Whatever you play, dc or bishop f6, e5 coming. So king g8. Only move. And e5 now. So we, this we attack. And after h6, knight e2. And here, black resign. Uh, he was hoping for rook d6 and then queen e5 all suddenly. Attacking here, attacking here. But after knight e2, game is over here. No moves. There is no defense against rook d6. Case of knight b5 will be simply queen f5 with mate. Case of bishop uh, f6, queen h6. Also mate. Okay, guys. On this pretty, pretty uh, game, I would probably say you good night. And we'll see you as a Tuesday. I hope so. Thank you, guys. Let me just. Uh, I will probably make a raid. One second. Don't go. Let's raid somebody. Yeah, that rook f6 was uh, pretty, right? It was very, very pretty. Um, one moment, though, guys. The hood. Is on I guess nine nine D chess, I guess is a Ruches friend, so let's 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 raid nine D chess. Okay. I don't know who is this girl. Don't have any idea, but okay. Great. Let's go. Okay, guys. Right now. Good night, people. Hi, everybody.